music was a different kind of eclectic then. Technology where it was where it was. Instrumentation was still very much so a very big part of it. There's a lot of predictive default modes in, in the way that people program now. Mm -hmm. Like, so you don't have to play as much as you can. You know, it's perfect for someone who um, is a great player or someone who's not the best player but has ideas, has yes. really strong ideas. Mm -hmm. But there's a different thing that man has that the machines don't. As you can see, Pharrell gave his take on um, kind of the comparison between the clicking in notes culture in terms of programming drums and programming melodies versus the people that can actually play instruments. And he kind of had a key point when he said, um, man has something that machines don't. And I have to say, after being in sessions with people that can actually play instruments, I'd be jealous. Like. I've worked with guitarists and I'm in the studio kind of like instructing them and telling them like what melodies to play and whatnot. But the fact that they can sit there and I can make noises with my mouth and they can emulate exactly what I'm thinking just with playing it, bro. I'm, I'd just be jealous, bro. I'm like, dang. That's why I got that guitar back there, bro. I'm actually in the process of teaching myself. But Pharrell really has some great points here, man. Um, and I'll say it's quicker too, man. When I'm working and I'm clicking in melodies and clicking in certain things, it can be quite time consuming just because I know what it's supposed to sound like, but I have to go through different avenues to get the sound that I want. I have to go through a little more work to get the sound rather than if I knew how to play the exact instrument, how to play the piano, how to play the guitar. Um, and Pharrell hit it right on the head, man. He said, you know, in the current state of production, it's perfect for people who uh, don't, know how to play an instrument but they have ideas because i'm telling you it's a lot of fire loop makers out here that don't play instruments bro but they just know what it's supposed to sound like and that's really all that matters at the end of the day but like i said man if you can play an instrument it gives you like a huge advantage bro and i've been in um you know management company buildings and listen to what these a and r's are saying and it was one i'm not gonna say any names but it was one a and r in particular uh, she manages producers and she was just saying how like she was looking for more producers to manage but the criteria was they have to be able to play a real instrument so i was like dang so that's how these people are picking which producers they trying to sign nowadays like um now i know that's probably not how it is every single time maybe it's an exception if someone's really that fire but for me to sit there and hear someone that you know um, this was in LA too and hearing someone that is in a position of power that can really change a producer's lives and to hear her say the criteria for me to sign someone is that they have to be able to play a real instrument it sets the bar a little higher now like you it that's I'm telling you once I heard that it made me shift a little bit it's like all right I gotta really start learning how to play real instruments learn a little music theory but um kind of like how Pharrell was saying it's not technically necessary in this day and age but it gives you an advantage over other producers, bro. Imagine you walking into a session, right? Imagine you walking into a session. You got your guitar or you see a keyboard and you, you they making a beat or whatever, or an artist is recording or something. You could just walk in and be like, yo, I got something. I want to lay something on this. Uh, hit record. And you could either play it or whatever on any instrument, bro. You just tripled your chances of uh, making it on the record in some way, bro. Like. It's, it's literally a cheat code, bro. And, you know, I, I used to play the saxophone growing up. And um, I low-key wish I'd never stopped. You get what I'm saying? So, like I said, all of all of the things I've done have been through clicking in. And I've had some pretty cool success. Uh, I'm sure you guys have had some success, too, with it. But um, at the end of the day, bro, I feel like we all should try to learn an instrument. It's not necessary, but I feel like we should try to learn one. Um, I actually am interested in you guys, too, man. Drop in the comments if you... Uh, either are learning how to play an instrument, you already play an instrument in terms of producing, or you're at, you're at that point where you're just like, bro, I'm never learning how to play an instrument. I'm cool with just clicking in everything. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I'm cool. Because um, that could be a, a, a um, you know, a stance too. You you really could be cool with not learning. It, um, and I've been surviving off of that for a nice little amount of time, but it's just, it comes to a point where you're like, all right, I really want to take it more seriously. Let me learn some music theory. Let me learn and just get better all around so let me know where you guys are at in your production journey i'm actually curious um leave everything below man i'm gonna respond to everybody i'm out